How do governments and corporations ensure that their secrets remain secret? And how does the military exchange information without it falling into the wrong hands? Cryptology, the science of hiding the meaning of messages, has been around for thousands of years. Because of the tactical advantages it gives, countries have tried to find better ciphers while deciphering those of their enemies. An example of its importance was the decryption of the Zimmermann telegram in World War I. The telegram contained a deadly plot designed by the Germans to improve their strategic position in the war. Luckily for the Allies, the telegram was deciphered by the British, and they were able to act in time, resulting in a quicker victory. After having realized the disastrous effects of their poor encryption, the Germans adopted a cipher device that would revolutionize cryptology. Enigma was designed by German inventor Arthur Scherbius. Unlike any of the existing cryptographical methods that relied on handwritten encryption, the Enigma was fully mechanized, giving its strength superior to any other. Its power lay in its diverse and complex workings. The Enigma's strength depended not on concealing the design of the machine, but on keeping the initial settings of its components secret. There was over 10 to the power of 16 of these possible settings, also known as keys. The British continued monitoring German communications after the First World War, but they were baffled when they intercepted the first messages encrypted with Enigma. However, a leakage of classified information from Germany would expose the cipher's weakness. Using this classified information and the Enigma machines that the army had captured, the Polish Cipher Bureau was the first to make a serious attempt to crack the Enigma. It was a young mathematician by the name of Marian Rzewski, who by exploiting pattern in the encrypted messages, found a way to break the cipher. In order to speed up the decryption of intercepted messages, Rzewski developed what he called bombs, which were modified versions of the Enigma machine that could be used to find the key. However, shortly before the breakout of the Second World War, the Germans modified the design of the Enigma, making it even more difficult to decipher. In order to continue deciphering, Rzewski needed to build more bombs, but the Bureau simply did not have the resources. Instead, Rzewski handed over his blueprints to the wealthier Allied cryptanalyst, one of which was the British Cipher School at Bletchley Park. With Rzewski's blueprints, decipherment continued at Bletchley. Several years into the war, Alan Turing, a British cryptanalyst, developed an even more powerful version of the bomb, which would become one of the world's first programmable computers. Towards the end of the century, computers allowed major progress to be made in cryptology. This gave the general public access to very powerful ciphers, which could be used to protect communications over the internet. The public ciphers were so strong that only government agencies had the computer power required to tackle them. The struggle to find the best cipher has furthered mathematics and science enormously. It is believed that the quantum computer will be developed as a result of this struggle, and may offer the means of creating the ultimate cipher.